You know, what I do when I walk to the ring, or prior to walking to the ring in the, in the dressing room, I look in the mirror, and if I see Sugar Ray Leonard in the mirror, I could beat Mike Tyson, all right? <laughs> but, but if I see Ray Leonard, the civilian, I'm in trouble. Natural, it's a natural uh, transition. It's a natural thing that I go there because I'm, I'm there for that particular fight, that matchup. The transformation from day one, say from, from day one to when I finish training, which is like a, almost a two month period, the transformation in me is astounding. It's amazing because, first of all, I get in incredible shape, in amazing shape, but then this thing here really comes together. It all comes, and that's how I get my tunnel vision. Welcome to our pay-per-view special, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. This the site of a much-anticipated rematch. Twelve rounds of welterweight action, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Leonard's the kind of fighter who you just know has no self-doubt. Look at the way he's making his way down to the ring right now. You can see it in his eyes. Lies coming down to the ring, and you can tell with that zip in his step, that he plans on this one being a spectacular evening for him. Introducing first, in the blue corner, by Will Wilmington, Jerry Leonard! Here's that person, by way of Halifax, Lloyd! We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Opening stanza of this 12-round fight. I wonder if the knockout streak will continue here. Leonard's been able to do it throughout his whole career. Knock out man after man, they line up in front of him. He wastes no time. He goes right out of that corner with one thing. Lies! Hit flush by a big shot there. Blistering combination. The speed of those punches just put him down. They got there quicker than his hands got back to cover. Lies back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Good smooth work by Sugar Ray Leonard. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Combination to the head. Lies on the wrong end of a razor. There it is. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five. And it's over. This fight is over. 
Sugar Ray Leonard's got himself a knockout. A first round knockout. Wow, was that impressive. Still champion of the world, Sugar Ray. The great Sugar Ray Leonard is great again. Still a world champ defending his title here tonight. For my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Enjoy the rest of your night. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip, the site for our championship fight. 12 rounds in the welterweight division between Sugar Ray Leonard and Victor Ortiz. Leonard's belief that he can overcome anything is showing through. He's bubbling over with confidence. right now, flanked by his cornerman, and just an overall feeling that they're not exactly hyped up for this one. In the corner, corner by, by Will Wilmington, Wilmington. Joe Joe and his opponent across the ring, fighting out of Oxnard, Vicious Victor! All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. So we are underway here. Round one, scheduled for 12. Leonard's a real treat for these fans, a pure knockout artist. Every single fight of his career has ended with his hand raised and his opponent down and out. For every one of his fights is like a fire drill. I mean, the bell goes off. And bang, he's rushing to that fire. Oh, he is such... Oh! 
Oh, and he goes down for the first time tonight. Ortiz is rising back up. That takes some guts. How about that? Another right hand. Ortiz's defense is paying off now. Come on, kid. Teddy, if you're training Sugar Ray Leonard. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, two, three, four, five. That's it. It's over. Fight is over. Sugar Ray Leonard's game plan works to perfection. The power came early. A first round knockout victory. Sugar Ray Leonard able to defend his title. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside.
you. No one's gonna move that bag for you. I want to see you punch harder. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and thanks for joining us on this grand spectacular pay-per-view stage. I'm Joe Tessator alongside my partner Teddy Atlas and we welcome you to Vegas where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center. Such history has been made here through the years, and now we add more as it's the site for this championship fight. 12 rounds in the welterweight division. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. to the ring right now and he does so with a certain gamesmanship putting forth that attitude to his opponent telling him I'm the man and I know it introducing first in the middle corner by Will Wilmington his adversary by way of Sydney Manfredi All right, fellas, let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Opening three minutes of this scheduled 12-rounder. Everyone knows what can take place with this guy. Sugar Ray Leonard's knocked out every opponent he's faced. Will the streak continue tonight? But what his opponent wants to know is what's important. What happens when he comes out and he can't hit me? How's he gonna act then? What a destructive hook to the head by Sugar Ray Leonard. Be interested to see early on here how much an advantage there is with speed. Leonard's full of it. He has, oh, he just did a big shot. Oh, an explosive headshot there. He is down. able to get up to his feet after that knockdown but Teddy it's what's ahead that's the problem yeah we're getting a peek right now into his heart into his soul he's in bad shape he does not look good at all he could go down at any moment Teddy yeah he wishes right now this was in an outdoor arena because maybe he's rain solid once again he goes down can he survive this to prepare for a situation like this but many do he's been down now he's got to survive so that's where you're wrong it's not hard to prepare it's a must to prepare if you're a trainer that's what you do in the gym you teach a guy if you're in this situation this is what you do you grab on you move your head you survive good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Last 10 seconds. Punches and bunches. Combination up top. Sugar Ray Leonard's corner is like a congratulatory receiving line right now. They're just thrilled with what went down in that last. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Leonard's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Well, he's been there 
before, and now he's there again. He got four. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. And now he's targeting upstairs. There's a nice left hand able to get in. Good plus shot upstairs. Showing you some defense there with the block. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. And yet another big shot comes in. Oh, is he gonna survive this? Once again, he hits the deck. He's gonna have to find a way. Stopping this fight, Sugar Ray Leonard's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockout, your winner and still champion of the world, Sugar Ray. The great Sugar Ray Leonard is great again. Still a world champ defending his title here tonight. For my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Enjoy the rest of your night.
tuning in. Thanks for joining us on this grand, spectacular pay-per-view stage. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my partner, Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Such history has been made here through the years, and now we add more as it's the site for this championship fight. 12 rounds in the welterweight division. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. is making his way to the ring right now. Boy, and he's not bashful at all, is he? Look at him, confidently making his way down for this contest. Introducing first, in the little corner, by Will Wilmington, Sugar Ray Leonard! His adversary, from Obregon, Mendes! All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Opening three minutes of this scheduled 12-rounder. Everyone knows what can take place with this guy. Sugar Ray Leonard's knocked out every opponent he's faced. Will the streak continue tonight? But what his opponent wants to know is what's important. What happens when he comes out and he can't hit me? How's he gonna act then? Teddy, what are your expectations? What do you think we're gonna see out of Sugar Ray tonight? Oh, you're gonna see what you always see to a certain extent. Blinding ability. Just great talent. You know, he has power, he has speed. You know, and a lot of times when you see that, you think about the head. You know, a lot of those guys that are real speed merchants, like Sugar Ray Leonard, they go right upstairs to that top. But he pays attention to the body. Don't be surprised if you see some body work. What's the one way in which you see Sugar Ray Leonard possibly getting himself into trouble against such an unconventional fighter? If he doesn't respect the guy's awkwardness. You know, if he doesn't look at that. And I can understand a talented guy like Leonard, who's been so successful in averages and approaches, not respecting that dimension. You know, he, he respects things that he sees as tangible things. He might not see that as something tangible, and he could get in trouble. Because now you start going after an awkward guy, and all of a sudden, your talents aren't what they usually are. You know, you're not using them on a playing field where they can be seen. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. You gotta protect yourself! about that exchange needs to improve that accuracy missed with the headshot last 10 seconds of this first round good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault and the round comes to an end Leonard's really impressing us here tonight that last round boy he was on top of his game and all over his opponent laid out some serious damage there yeah I noticed that he's starting to land that uppercut a little bit the only thing that I wouldn't be satisfied with what he did the last round. I would just look forward for confidence to do more as sort of a good roadmap to maybe even get a knockout victory here. Put something on top of those uppercuts. You know the uppercuts landing. Now put something up top. Nice block by Sugar Ray Leonard. He comes with the straight right hand. Now he's targeting upstairs. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Mendez. Leonard's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching.
Leonard's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Leonard's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Effective work with that flush overhand right. And we come to the end of round number two. Leonard's got to feel good about himself after that last round. He really damaged his opponent. Just not there, straight right hand off the mark. Mendez is stunned and he is hurt. Sugar Ray with a big, big shot. Perfectly executed combination. Mendez is down, he's gonna have to beat the count. to get up to his feet after that knockdown but Teddy it's what's ahead that's the problem yeah we're getting a peek right now into his heart into his soul little head hunting with the left comes right back with a shot of his own good way to protect the midsection Halfway through this round here. Mendez is blocking. Sugar Ray Leonard's rocked, and both men are damaged in this round. Wild stuff. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. SRL getting rid of that punch. He is so dangerous with that left hook to the body, and this time he adds the right hand on the back end. Can't work in the box. Mendez is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. And he's holding. Last 10 seconds. Good defense, just covering up down low. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. And that's the end of round three. Leonard's in complete control of this fight early on here. Teddy, he's up three zip on your scorecards, but even more important than that, he may be able to end this fight. He's put his Mendez is hit by a right hand. Getting him into the place he wants to. That's against the ropes. Mendez is solid. He is floored by that combination. Absolutely floored. One, two, three, four, five. The ref is stopping this fight. Mendez is smashed and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen. By way of knockout, your ex-champion of the world, Joker! Leonard's fine work in the ring tonight keeps that title belt secure around his waist. For my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.
everybody, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas and welcome to Vegas where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for a highly anticipated rematch in our main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds of welterweight action. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. Cintron's not throwing any fuel onto the fire for his opponent. He's just making his way down to the ring in a way in which he's checking that time card. Ready to punch in and get to work. Introducing first by Will Wilmington, Sugar Ray Leonard. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. They're scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. The excitement in the air is palpable, and the fans have good reason to be. Leonard's won every single one of his fights by knockouts. And I think the anticipation in the air is twofold. One is, are they going to see another knockout? The other is, what happens if he hits his opponent and he's still there? That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Sugar Ray Leonard. Pretty well-rounded boxer puncher taking on the challenge of Sugar Ray Leonard. Yeah, he's well-rounded, but he's not great in one area. Guess what? Leonard is great in many areas. So it's kind of a case where Anything you can do, I can do better. And that's exactly... Are you going to start singing? Well, well, Leonard may start singing, and it may be really sweet tunes as this fight goes on. Getting rid of that punch from his opponent, well blocked by Sugar Ray Leonard. Good shot to the head with that right hand. You got this one. Come on. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Keep pushing! And yet another right hand lands. Cintron's left landing well. He missed with that headshot. He has his target, he lands a straight right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Leonard's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. All right, all right. Well, he looks ready for action here. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Right to the belt line. Protecting his head well with his guard. Scores up top with a left. Keep the chest. 
He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good two-punch combo by Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard targets that hook and scores with it. Sender with the left hand. Locks away that headshot. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Sintrone's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Boy, he's so good at that. Sugar Ray Leonard just has that ability to land the hook in an instant. Cintron's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. He's always been so sharp with that hook. Sugar Ray Leonard, tremendous technique there. Now there's the jab. Leonard's applying an old axiom in sports, and that is speed kills. He's got plenty of it in the ring tonight. Yes, he does. It's going to be up to his... Own. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Sugar Ray Leonard's defense has failed him now. Oh, man. Shot after shot coming in. Cintron's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Clean shot with the right. Cintron's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Leonard's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Did you see that? What a powerful hook to the head by Sugar Ray Leonard. Cintron smashed by a hook. So punch after punch, he keeps taking punishment. Starting to wonder here, Teddy, how much more will he be able to take? You want it to be the inclination of a fighter, in this case a warrior, to go on. But sometimes enough is enough, and you just have to take your losses and come back to fight another day. I believe we've gotten to that point. Great work offensively landing that combination by Sugar Ray Leonard. Huge left hand from Sugar Ray. Hits him in the mug with the right. And he ties up on the inside. Leonard's putting forth a great combination there. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Sugar Ray Leonard. Scored well with the hook. And this round comes to an end. This is a classic example we're seeing here as we start round number four of just the busier guy taking the fight. He's up three rounds to zip on Teddy's scorecard. Yeah, my concern, though, so I have one little concern. What's there. that? Well, is he winning the battles but maybe going to lose to war because he's really wearing himself out. He's working so hard to get things done. Down the road, does he pay a price? Sugar Ray Leonard lands a flush right hand. What an excellent two-punch combo by Sugar Ray Leonard. Leonard's giving us a taste of some of that athletic ability, that hand speed right there. Good combination. And his opponent, though, now is going to have to show us that he could do something to sort of, you know, adjust to this, to counter this. And that's going to be controlling range and timing because he can't match up with the physical hand speed. And a good counter by Sugar Ray Leonard. Halfway through round number four. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Bunches and bunches. Combination up top. Scores with the uppercut. He's 
Leonard showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Good left hand by Sugar Ray Leonard. Good flush shot upstairs. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. And that's the end of round four. I'm not Cintron's health, welfare, and safety has been greatly compromised now that that eye is shut closed. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Precision work with the left hand by Sugar Ray Leonard. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, banged around and down. Joey has some choices to make. Two of them. One, do I get up? And two, how do I behave once I'm up? is already celebrating his opponent unable to beat the count ladies and gentlemen by way of knockouts your winner and still champion of the world Great Sugar Ray Leonard is great again. Still a world champ defending his title here tonight. For my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Enjoy the rest of your night.
Bermuda World Championship pay-per-view action. Alongside my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitor. So glad you're with us as we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. A very highly anticipated rematch in our main event. 12 rounds in the welterweight division. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. He's ring walk. He just exudes confidence, carrying himself like a champion. Introducing first, in the blue corner, by Will Wilmington, Sugar Ray Leonard. His adversary, by way of Sydney, Manfredi. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Here we go. 36 minutes still ahead of him here, round one of 12. Leonard's feeling pressure, and he has to be feeling the pressure because all the talk all week has been about the knockout streak. He's won every fight by knockout. Well, there's been a little other talk, too. They've been talking about how the national anthem is usually longer than his fight. <laughs> Right to the head with that right. Good counter punch by Sugar Ray Leonard. And I love the way he delivered that, Teddy. Yeah, he's using his feet to set up his offense. You don't always see that, but you see it there. And he engages in the clinch. There's a good right hand. Teddy, most ringside experts feel that this is very much going to be a tactical fight. Yeah, both these guys throw punches like they're paying for. And guess what? They're both cheapskates. A snapping combination by Sugar Ray Leonard. Halfway through round number one. A well-placed left hand up top. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Well-targeted right hand by Sugar Ray Leonard. And now he's targeting upstairs. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Well, the game plan for Sugar Ray's opponent is pretty obvious tonight. He wants to take it right to the inside. All right, there's two problems here. First of all, how do you get in? On your way in, don't forget, you can take on damage with a guy like Sugar Ray Leonard with those quick hands with that radar where he can pick you up coming in. So that's number one. How do you get in clean? And second problem, it's a big problem. Once you get in, guess what? You think of Leonard, you hear the name, you think of speed, you think of a guy who's gonna box, stay on the outside. Well, Leonard, he can fight really good on the inside. Not able to land the headshot. End of round one. He just cannot get out of the way of these headshots. And they're coming from long range. He's setting it up with the jab. Oh, and right to the inside he goes. And yet another big shot comes in. He just fought the other guy's fight. And now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out. Pulled out into a world of trouble. A world of punches. One, two, three, four. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. No, that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Great hook to the head that time. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Good block by Sugar Ray Leonard. And now they're trading blows. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. Oh. 
Leonard's combination punching is working well here. Sugar Ray Leonard puts that hook right in there. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Leonard's starting to score, and he... Boom! Left hand. Oh, and there you go. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? The fight is over. Leonard's gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. But right now, the knockout is Sugar Ray Leonard able to defend his title. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside.